Interloper. In your ignorance, you have invaded the sovereign territory of Mars. I am bound by honor to give you one warning before I take you to the Galactic Court by force. If you resist, I will be forced to use lethal force. Who are you supposed to be? I see your underdeveloped cranium is having trouble beholding the sight in front of it. I am proud citizen and soldier of Mars, and my name, translated to your primitive language, is Franklin. You're a ghoul. I'm not a ghoul. If you could comprehend my language, you would know that you just delivered a grave insult to my mother. Leave before I get angry. Your money. All of it. Now. Oh. Ah. Right. I'm behind on the planetary landing tax and the bovine study permits. Here it is. And I'll just be off to file the forms. Easy. I just want to talk. Ah. Invoking the interstellar right of ambassadorship. Very well. You may make your case for your presence. Be warned. Transgressing against the sacred ceasefire will trigger the electro-neuromagnetic traps that will boil the brain of any human in the room. Come on, don't bullshit me. It... but... you're only a human! What could you possibly know of our technology? I have something for you. What's this? You have an offering for me? Usually humans bring me items for study, not scribblings. Wait. Katie? She's... leaving? But I... I mean... I see the Chief Ambassador has... has... Uh, forget it. No point in keeping up the act now, I guess. It works better on children and kent out raiders anyway. So... Katie couldn't come out here herself. And that's why she sent you, Vanessi. Hold on. I have some questions first. After that performance, I figured you would. Go ahead and ask then. Who are you? I'm Franklin. And I'm actually from a marsh. Not Mars. But Katie misheard me. I mostly made a living selling salvage. But I didn't have much luck with that. People saw my face or heard my voice, and I'd be lucky not to get chased out with bullets. Always been like that. Then the little lady saw me one day, and instead of screaming ghoul, she called me an alien, and asked me if I was looking for things to study. I figured being an alien couldn't be worse than being a ghoul. Turns out it's better, safer. And even profitable. First, Katie started bringing me food and junk to trade. Then a caravaneer stoned out on Kem's body into it, and now I practically have a brand going. What's with the outfit? It's just some old gear. Katie was the one who called it a spacesuit. I modified the gun to fit the image afterwards. Katie's got a big imagination. But at least she treats me like a person, even if she thinks I'm from another planet. She even wanted to draw a comic book of me someday. The super awesome galactic adventures of Franklin the Martian and Katie the Human. Um, I'm not exactly sure what's going on here. Katie brought her here to play alien experiments on her own, I swear. Didn't know she'd bring me a whole cow after I told her to stop looking for scrap. She lost track of time and had to run home. So she said she'd be back for Nessie soon. Then, I guess you showed up and she got locked down. That's all I needed to know. Hope that clears things up. So, was I right about you getting sent here for Nessie? That's right. The smelly thing is all yours. Good thing you came. I don't know how much longer I could stand around smelling a fertilizer. And, uh, 
Sorry for the act earlier. I've gotten kind of used to it, but I guess it won't be the same without Katie around. Doesn't like me very much after some of the experiments Katie thought would be fun to play at, but she should follow you back to the farm without a fuss. I'll miss Katie. Take care of her and her family, will ya? What are you gonna do now? Probably move on, find somewhere I can find more salvage, and keep selling alien artifacts to whoever's chemmed out enough to buy them. It'll be lonelier, but maybe I can visit Katie sometime, once she's settled. But I'm sure she'll forget all about me soon enough. Do you want to set up a permanent shop? I know the perfect place. For real? I didn't expect you to say that, but a permanent place sounds amazing. Yeah, I can see it now. Franklin's Fine Martian Wares, or Franklin's Emporium of Galactic... No, too long. You've got yourself a deal, human. Franklin? From Mars? I guess I can see it with the, uh, the suit and the eyes and the gun. Uh, yeah. It's not really true. I'm a ghoul and not an alien, as you can see. I'm sorry for lying, Katie. It's all right. I already knew that. I'm not dumb, you know. I've seen nice schools before, but it was so much fun to play, wasn't it? You're a smart kid, Katie. I guess... I guess I needed to believe I was Franklin from Mars. More than you did. Uh, this is all very nice, but what about my... our Nessie? She's back in her pen, safe and sound. And I'm sorry for taking her in the first place. I was going to... Franklin! Don't say that! Mom, Dad, I was the one that took Nessie out of her pen. I tried to go and get her back, but you wouldn't let me go. And you should have told us that right away. What were you thinking? I was worried sick about her. Mr. Franklin, thank you for keeping Nessie safe and bringing her back. Well, I'm not sure how I feel about you playing aliens with my daughter. She is a very special cow. In fact, if you figure out how to make her milk glow, maybe we could team up. Things that glow sell faster. Glowing Brahmin milk? Improbable, but I doubt anyone's tried before. Thank you, thank you, thank you! I never thought I'd say this, but I'm glad she was abducted by an alien instead of wandering off by herself. And Franklin is... interesting. I always knew Katie was too smart to get that carried away with make-believe, but I wasn't expecting this. He's definitely onto something with his branding, though. I've seen caravans cash out for less. I'll definitely talk more with him on the road. Speaking of, we're all packed up and ready. Are you all set? Anything else I can do to help? Nothing besides the heavy lifting. And that's Nessie's job now that we have her back. We're all set otherwise. How about you? Absolutely. I'm ready to go. So where are we heading? I'm not really used to being a polite hostess. We, uh, we don't get I wish there were other kids around. I can't believe you convinced him to come with us! You're amazing, you know that? This'll be so much fun! Once I'm not grounded anymore, anyway. <laughs> True superheroes never ask for a reward, but they always deserve it! I went and grabbed all this stuff from my secret hiding spot for you. Here. 